Let's start. Um, last week I've been looking into the uh, user space and kernel space support of a uh, Zona device support, and uh, turns out the only re user space reference is uh, F2FS2. So, put in another word, we need to define the, uh, the Zona space and another structure by our own if we want to um, support um, the Zona device management. And also was looking into the FTL library defined in uh, in SPDK for more inspirations how we should manage the uh, the zone device. Apart from it, I I was also reviewing um, Shuhan's PR to the draft PR to to add support of uh, managing multiple um, multiple zones. And that's me. Uh, Chen Mei. Um, I updated the, the uh, get retired uh, extend PR fixed unit test uh, bug and uh, and uh, remove the retired from the catch extend. Uh, another one is uh, when I do the unit test, uh, I found that only the tree unit test has uh, has issue. But uh, the system make a, make a API test seems not to report this bug. On my environment, and uh, I always meet the the reference uh, use count uh, equal to one. A third happen. So I have uh, talked with Yingxin. Uh, if Yingxin couldn't reproduce, I will take uh, it uh, uh, later. And. Uh, Another one is that I currently I can use the riddles to do the riddles batch uh, test or see uh, Grimace OIC and the C store uh, debug build. Uh, when I use the release build, uh, I got the maybe uh, get the parent. The parent is not get the parent. Parent is not. Parent pointer is not. So uh, release build still has problem. Uh, debug build, I think, not to trigger this um, too much. Uh, garbage collection, so maybe not meet that problem. Um, when I used FL to do the test, uh, there is a reactor stored at some OMAP tree. OMAP tree there is a, a print logger, the C, C star logger. Uh, when the logger do the insert uh, iterator uh, for some string and uh, there is a block uh, signal happened. So when I remove that print, the log print, and I can't connect the RBD used FL count, uh, there's RBD open field, RBD connection field. Uh, it's weird. I don't know why. I just removed the print, log print and the RBD connection field. So still taking on it now. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, when I updated to the current master branch and uh, uh, the create pool can't return, so it just uh, stopped there, but uh, seems something wrong. But uh, in, my, in my branch, uh, I can create pool and uh, can create image and can do riddles batch test. So the master brand, the currently master brand seems has problem for the for the create pool. So uh, if anybody can do the test uh, to verify the uh, verify it if it has problem, maybe just uh, my impairment has problem. So that's all. I mean, you haven't really given us a lot of information. Like, was that C store or alien store? No, C store is running um, right, and uh, but uh, the create pool not returned. No response, just to stop there. Right, I know. I'm saying you might want to send an email with a lot more details about how you triggered it. Oh, okay. Uh, just to uh, um, start the system and uh, uh, the restart and create a pool. So it's still there. No special test. Without passing additional parameters like the P I mean, the you need to give us the vstart.sh. V star. Like you use 
vstart.sh, presumably. So uh, you need to give I... us the command you use to start it and then the observe behavior. So this command, I start uh, the C star and the uh, Travis Ah. Um, and... I'll probably be interested in that in a week or two. For now, though, I'm not really worried about it. It's just not something I'm especially worried about right now. I know C store doesn't work particularly well at start no OSD right now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, not really, unless you've been getting useful work out of it. But it is good. Do you actually do IO? Uh, I file. Oh uh, uh, no, I just create a create pool. No, no, I mean, like. I believe you have successfully created a pool once or twice. Have you done anything past that? Uh, I just I used my old, old branch. It works. This is the current master branch. Right, but so, were you able to actually complete any IOs after that? Uh, so the first step, I have to create the pool, right? And no IO uh, executed. Right. I'm saying that the last time I tried this, even when I was able to create a pool, I wasn't able to complete any IOs because I know of problems in C store already that prevent that from working. Oh, so it doesn't okay. really matter to me whether creating a pool works. Not just yet, anyway. But so, uh, Chime, I... you, you managed to, to create a pool and also managed to, to, to complete some IO after create the On my own branch, created, I right? can create a pool. And I can create image. I can use uh, Redux Bench to do test. And I will oh. test uh, or cause okay. this uh, reactor stall. This is the current master branch. So it's a great okay. regression. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if it is just uh, something wrong with my environment. So anybody can re -test, re test it to make sure if it is really a problem. I guess. Okay. I'll, I'll try reproduce the issue in my local environment also. May I ask uh, how many PGs uh, are you, you, uh, did you configure when you were creating the pool? Uh, yeah, it would be good to have that. I tried way. two, uh, just the two. Just two. It would be good to have that command as well. So it still stop, uh, no response stop there. But on my old branch, I can create a 32, 64, maybe 100, 200, uh, 28. Right. Can you copy and paste the command you used to create the pool? Okay. Thank you. You also mentioned that mentioned you in the release build the parent node was none. So what was the tree? The owner tree? No, LBA tree. LBA tree, uh, get, LBA the, tree. get okay. the parent and uh, the parent uh, uh, check if the parent is exist and uh, assert happened. And, uh, mm -hmm. I, I think if you want to debug that issue, you can use the NBD, uh, NBD testing tool oh, sure. because it is simple without a crimson OSD, without other tree, just a transaction and LBA tree and segment collection cleaner. So, uh, fix that bug. Uh, better to use NBD. Yeah. The release build. Le much release less dependency build. than than the than the. Yeah, visual. that's if you're looking for a way to look at um, garbage collection behavior right now, that would be the tool to use. Actually, running an OSD right now will be a bunch of extra work and is unlikely to work anyway. I see. The only release build has this problem because the release build is very faster than the debug build. That's yeah, that's most likely the reason. By the way, you'd want to formulate some guess as to why it's happening and then try to add some kind of code to make it more likely to happen under debug conditions. Yeah. But that stuff's also going to change a lot with the new interruptible future stuff. So I'm not sure how valuable it is to look at. Now, I also have another question regarding the uh, login message. Did you manage to, to, to find out which was the logging, the line added? Adding the, the login message was was it? A, the reactor stored. You mean the reactor stored? Yes, that one. Uh, in the oh my, forget value. I have yeah. to 
uh, debug information in the beginning of the function. Uh, so when I comment out that debug information, and uh, I couldn't uh, connect the RBD. So FL always report the RBD open field, the RBD connection field. So <laughs> that's very weird. <laughs> I just comment out the two. Too long. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, thank you. Thank you to me. Um, Aaron, anything you want to share with us? Okay, yeah. So uh, I will be exploring the zone device interface only as we discussed in the email. Uh, so on the sister front, sister framework front, uh, the patch has to be uploaded uh, by this week or one week, in one week time. Uh, in the good case, uh, and uh, I need to uh, explore the C store friend actually. How, what are the inter uh, what are the interfaces required for zone devices? Yeah. So, do you have any input for that? Repeat it again. For what to work on? Sorry. Uh, about the zone devices, zone um, uh, devices uh, requirement, interface requirements. Uh, do you have any uh, inputs for me? Uh, that would be the, that would be the task identifying the the interface requirements and coming up with the strategy. Okay. okay, okay, fine. Okay. Um, there's an interface inside of C Store Segment Manager .h, which okay, defines okay. a strictly uh, sequential append write pattern interface. Um, okay, okay. It's intended as a sort of a guess as to what the zoned interface needs to look like. So okay. you'd want to create an adapter between that and whatever the best way to expose the actual device information through CSTAR is. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, maybe I'll put this yeah. for you. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, that would be it. Um, Aaron, just a side note. I, I was looking at how we can send a pen or write command down to the uh, the, the kernel, the, the okay. player. Okay. Okay. So I I I realize that there's a no. What we can do is just to to do the BIO by by passing by by, by sending the the flags, and okay. noting noting that we need to do append instead of a, a plan write. Okay. Can you repeat? Yeah. Can that, you can you just the, yeah. you can you just repeat? Okay, okay, fine. On the details, because that's what my that's, that's my finding on how we can do the append operation. Okay, 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 fine. On a specific device, there's no no straightforward for a way to do it at this moment. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, okay. Uh, let's explore and I'll contact you also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Kivu, I thought you needed to go through that lib ZNS thing. Uh, hello, Sam. You, you, you're telling me? No, I'm, I'm. I remember that there is a library you typically go through to access CNS devices. Okay. okay, okay. In, instead of using using the kernel kernel system call. I'm pretty sure it does use the kernel system call. It's just wrapping it. Ah. Um, the, that would be something to investigate, though. The BD, the BD. We don't particularly want to use the low-level commands if we can avoid it, because there are multiple vendors here, and we don't really want to be vendor-specific. So let me see if I can find the library. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, I think. But I think underneath of the DBD is just to wrap up the, uh, the 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 structure like zone uh, zone device, zone range, and the the, the magic numbers for for which is passed to the uh, IO control. So. Yes, I, I I'll take a look at it instead of just the kernel. Okay. But yeah, the task is to figure out what the best way to do it is. Yes, sure, sure. With the okay, understanding sure. that we need to poke through Cstor, <coughs> Cstor. But okay, ideally, okay. we don't really want to encode a whole bunch of logic in Cstor if we can avoid it. It's much more difficult to change Cstor than it is to change our own code. Okay. Okay. Understand it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I think this. This, the system core, the interface of system core will be very stable. So okay. there's less, there less chance we need to poke around with the uh, system once we add the uh, the corresponding interfaces to system. 
Okay, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think it's the it's just a user friendly library wrapping up with all the lab interfaces. Okay, I'll find out. Right, I'm looking at this presentation and the direct kernel interfaces seem like what we probably want. That's likely correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. It's libzbc maybe. That might be one to look up. Yeah, libzbc or libzbt. Hey, hi, uh, hi everybody. First, um, I have this uh, draft PR which adds a formatting for some OSD types that I'm using uh, in Scrub. Uh, Kifu, uh, I'm bump. I'm. I sent it to you because I'm wish to bump the uh, uh, FMT lib. To, from six to seven, actually seven one seven one three at, at a minimum, because there is a po there is a problem with GCC compilations uh, on some uh, uh, some structures. By seven, you mean the API level version seven of a C star? No, not C star. I'm talking about FMT lib. Ah, FMT lib is, uh, we are well, currently we currently have uh, six and we are linking to a re uh, repository from sister and I suggested take a look I suggested just using the act the original uh, github uh, lib FMT and bumping it to 713 or 714 currently Otherwise, I'm failing in linkage and because of a known problem. Okay, take a look. Uh, if, if you agree, and uh, also I've created uh, some of the uh, some of the formatting uh, constructs required. And this is a. I would like to have this uh, emerge because I'm already using this in. Uh, what I would like to uh, PR later on, which is the backend. Another thing that is another PR that is ready, older PR is uh, this one, the scrub scheduling. Uh, Nia suggested that I run it for a full Rados uh, test again. So I marked it as need QA and uh, I'll try to get it uh, tested. But if you, if anybody can do it in higher priority, I liked it. And uh, other than that, uh, I will be trying to solve a, a log problem I have with uh, uh, with the backend and finish with that PR soon. That's it uh, for me. Um, Rona, I just want, wanted to understand the motivation of the, um, the, format, the format PR because we always have a, uh, we always have override of the, Operator minus minus um, which enable us to to print out the uh, the instance of the structures. So, what's the advantage of uh, introducing this uh, this format? Well, same as you same as you did in uh, one of your uh, PRs, latest PR. It's easier to it's easier to format strings with FMT. I don't want to. Like we talked to the sometimes before, I don't want to, I don't want to introduce a replacement for a, a D out. In the decided not to do that to leave D out as it is, but I would rather have as in uh, in code that is common to uh, in scrap code that is common both to both uh, classic and crimson to have what I can do with. Uh, uh, Regular with FMT uh, formatting done with FMT, just the D outs leave, uh, just the actual D outs uh, do with uh, classic, the classic way. And uh, that's more or less the interface. So, what I'm doing here is, is not intrusive uh, as such. No. I'm only using no, it no, to where I can. Where I can. Uh, the, the the benefit apart from uh, yeah. clearer uh, writing is speed. It's, uh, supposed to be much faster in 
in places where I do where we are using uh, those prints in uh, in actual uh, uh, not just testing code and I see. it does it does exist yes, we do use the it. internal buffer but yes. in my case I the reason why I added the uh, the specifier for 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 Matt for Matt was that the the sequence does not have a have a, a uh, output operator so that's why and the only user of the sequencer was uh, was the crimson so that's why I added the format specifier but I I got your your point thank you oh yeah thank you um Sam. Uh, let's see, I think Young One's patch is good to go, at least for now. Um, it's pretty simplistic in its kind of early days, but uh, adequate to merge, I think. Next steps will be actually wiring it into the transaction manager interfaces and probably the extent manager Swan is working on. Um, what else? Actually, I was going to ask you, Arun, are you familiar with the work that your other colleagues at Samsung are doing? Oh, um, you you're, asking, you're asking me? Yeah. Some? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with uh, uh, Myungwon Myung Ho also. So I kind of in sync with them. So I may not be that working be together, a, but but I'm sync with, in sync with them. That would be another group to work with if you were interested. Yeah. yeah. So that work yes. will probably become pretty substantial. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, mainly, though, working on the interrupted future conversion. I'm almost done converting transaction manager. At that point, I will push a patch, or I will push a PR with those changes, and then we can adapt all of transaction managers' consumers to use interrupted bull future as well in future PRs. That will be a little bit less work. Uh, that's it. Sam, are you going to, to create a PR in this week? Oh, hopefully by next week, yeah. By next week, okay. Cool, sir. I'm converting the the garbage collection, the garbage collector and transaction manager now, assuming nothing breaks, that should be the last bit. I'm sure. Oh, this week I was, uh, I, I was still debugging the spend placement manager. <clears throat> I think I've been testing it wrong because I tried to test it uh, with Crimson and Sistor together, but it seems that I can't finish creating pools, and uh, um, uh, I think I I should been trying to debug the uh, debug this PR uh, by using the store MBD and. Uh, Uh, mainly, if all the unit tests pass and you should have good unit test coverage for your new code, that's the primary bar. Okay, okay. I think. Um, also, uh, store NBD is right now the most convenient way to stress test the store, but there are also bugs in that as well. Okay, okay. I, I, I will try to debug with the store, with the store NBD next week. Um, uh, well, uh, this is this is the PR I created when uh, and when I was debugging the Crimson and the uh, or uh, it seems that I kept uh, encountering issues that uh, transactions are trying to read uh, invalid extents uh, which are invalid invalidated by other transactions and which uh, and this caused the caused the crash of the Crimson OSD. And uh, I think Sam, that, that's that's what you are working on right now, right? Right. So it normally, if two transactions are in progress concurrently, one of them will commit first, and any any extents it touched will be marked invalid. Any other transactions that observe one of those extents are supposed to immediately return E again and restart from the beginning. So if oh. your code observes an invalid transaction, an invalid extent, you're supposed to propagate an E again and let the, the top-level caller retry, which is, uh, yes, what I'm working on. Um, what this patch set will do is make it so that everything transaction manager and below is using an interruptible future. So before the future even returns, it'll do the check and propagate me again for you. So you'd never be able to observe an invalid extension in the first place. 
But for now, yes, it's possible to observe and develop extent. The correct behavior is to propagate with E again. Okay, okay. Um, I, I just uh, put the, uh, put paste the, the PR address to, uh, to the chat window. And uh, it seems with this PR right now, uh, when I'm testing uh, Sysdor, uh, it, uh, the invalid extend issue uh, did, uh, doesn't come uh, doesn't come much uh, frequent uh, very, doesn't come up very frequently, uh, but um, it seems that uh, uh, although we can propagate E again, but this may cause uh, a performance issue. Uh, when I was testing when I was testing um, the pool creation. Uh, the PG creation uh, goes very slow, um, maybe 10 seconds one, for one PG to complete the creation. And uh, it seems that this is caused by uh, transactions uh, keep, keep, uh, keep repeating. And, yes, um, because they're all trying to touch the same collection manager node. That's okay for now. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. The correct behavior in the future will be to notice that that's happening and do pessimistic control. But that's okay. an optimization to be tackled once the store is basically working. That loop you're observing basically can't happen under normal I.O. Under With an OSD with like a non-trivial amount of data in it, you're not just touching the same extents over and over and over again. It's a, it's a case specific to PG creation, and I don't care about optimizing PG creation right right now at all. Okay, okay, I got it. Um, uh, when debugging the stand placement manager, I encountered this uh, this error, um, and uh, uh, right now it seems that uh, uh, it might have something to do with the Ono tree, which I'm not quite familiar with. Um, uh, you may have to open the raw file to find the error because the, the log may be very long. Um, uh, there's also um, another error. Uh, I remember that uh, at the beginning of this year, uh, uh, when we were testing the PG recovery mechanism of Scrimson, uh, we observed some um, rare, rare, rarely happened error that uh, uh, the OSD, when the OSD restarts, it tends to it tries to uh, read an OSD map that has not been uh, committed to disk, and uh, this that, that error uh, came up very frequently when I uh, partly fixed the ex invalid extend issue, and uh, uh, right now I, I can confirm that uh, before the error occurs, no OSD is down or up. And there's only one OSD in the testing cluster. So, uh, and um, what what the OSD try, was trying to read is an OSD map that actually never re re reached the reached the OSD. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, maybe uh, for example, the latest OSD map that reached the OSD is OSD 24. And then uh, when the error occurs. It tries to read OSD25, and uh, there's, uh, I mean, uh, you need to trace back to the code that tried to read that OSD map and figure out why. Yeah, I either, think this uh, might it was either in response to a message from another node, or it was in response there, to on there's only state. a single single OSD instance in the cluster. Only a single OSD, yeah. Another yeah, node think... isn't just an OSD, guys. It's a client or a monitor. So you need oh. to track down the code that triggered that read and identify why it was doing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it, it think... may not have been from another node. It may have been local on disk state, where we wrote down state that depends on OSD map 25, but somehow failed to write down OSD map 25. So get cluster logs from everything in the cluster and figure it out. Okay. I think you, you might also want to take from property debug level of the Pexos and uh, um, you probably OSD you probably don't need Paxos logs because it's very unlikely to be a bug in the monitor. All you okay. should need is uh, messenger logging on the OSD so you can see which messages were sent and received. 
Well, sorry, uh, I, I think when when an OSD reaches the the Crimson OSD, uh, when an OSD map reach, reaches the uh, the Crimson OSD, and we can see in the log that there is a handle OSD map uh, line there, right? Yeah. Maybe. You should go confirm that in the code. Uh, yeah, because yeah, if it's uh, possible for us to see an OSD map without that log line, that might be related to the bug. I think it's uh, with the debug underscore ms equals one, we always print out the uh, received message and the send message. Okay. Uh, in Grimson. Uh, I think this might have might have something to do with the uh, edge con edge condition uh, processing when we're trying to iterate uh, all the OSD maps. Do, do you think that's? I mean, maybe it tries to iterate from zero to 24, and uh, actually what he's trying to read is OSD map one to OSD map 25. There's a super block that records the set of maps that are present in the OSD. So okay. if the super block records OSD maps that it really doesn't have, then yes, that could trigger the bug. Hence my suggestion that you need to work out which code was triggering the get map and work out which state caused it. Like, is this immediately on boot? Oh, no, actually, it, 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 it never, it, it, before the error occurs, the OSD is alive. It never goes down. It, it never went down, I, I mean. So it, it's just, it try, it, it's smoothly running, and then it tries to read an OSD map that, it, that does not exist, and the whole well, the, OSD goes The cluster down. is created from scratch. The OSD has never stopped. Yeah. yeah. And at some point later, while performing client IO, it eventually crashes. And this happens with both Alien Store and C Store. Uh, no, not Alien Store, just C Store. Ah, seems likely that there's something wrong with the C Store right then. Um, next, so try to reproduce it. Uh, make sure any relevant C Store logging is on. You may very well have to add some. Um, and then try to identify when the map arrived at the OSD, if it did at all, and when it got written down, if it did. Okay, okay. I mean, it sounds like something is causing the OSD to try to read a map it doesn't have. So that's something basically either has to be local state from a PG or from the super block or something, or it has to be a message from someone else. Okay. I, I will try to dig it. Dig or it. since it doesn't crash an alien store, it's likely that we're supposed to have the map but don't which means the I.O. operation that was supposed to write it down partially failed, or the I.O. operation to retrieve it failed. Both no, I don't see that, that that's the case, because the, the OSD instant ha hasn't seen the uh, OSD 20, 25 before. If that's true, then I agree, but I'm not convinced of that yet. Hmm. Okay, I, I will try to add more debug outputs and try to uh, find out if this is the case. Now, that's all for me. Cool. Okay. Uh, hi, Shuhan. Uh, did you paste all the logs in your gist? I saw uh, yeah. 5,000 lines, but didn't see the error log. Yeah, actually, it's uh, maybe 100,000 lines. The, the, the gist can only display a, a part of it. You, you, uh, I mean, may, you may have to uh, download the raw file. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah sorry, that. sorry. I, because I, I, I don't know, uh, I can't figure out uh, what what logs are not relevant to to the error? So I paste mm -hmm. all the logs onto it. Okay, thank you. Uh, do, is that the fresh start of the OSD or the re re restart? Fresh start. Okay. I will take a look. Well, th thanks. Thank you. Uh, uh, last week, uh, the PR to extend uh, the O node tree uh, node sizes is, is, is merged, and uh, uh, currently I'm I'm using FIO NBD uh, to test uh, C star. I, I see some issues prevent uh, uh, it, this tool to running, uh, and I I'm working on the fix and will send out the PR soon. I think I'm almost uh, done and. Uh, in my environment, and the uh, FIO test uh, looks good. It, it can run several seconds and doesn't fail. That's using store NBD? Yes, C store NBD. 
That's funny with, because that's there that's... were there are several backends too. Are you using the one that exercises Transaction Manager directly, or no. the one that exercises C Store as a whole? The C, C Store as a whole. Ah, excellent. Cool. Mm. The context there is that um, the C Store has more than one layer, Kifu. There's Transaction Manager, which deals in logical block addresses, and then there's mm -hmm. the top layer, C Store, that deals in objects. If you use the C Store driver, it actually creates whatever four megabyte objects, sort of like RBD, and uses the full Odoad Manager stack to actually manage the logical data on disk. If you just use the Transaction Manager layer, it only uses raw LBA extents. Ah. That's the transaction manager layers. So you can isolate the performance characteristics of the different uh, layers, at least okay. once we get it stable enough that that kind of testing is useful. Thank you. I um, think I also, it can also run Alien Store too, if you're interested. I also see some bugs, but I didn't, I don't know yeah, why that's, yet. That's right. Yeah, bugs are the most likely outcome right now. It's still really, 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 really early. But uh, but uh, I'm kind of oh sorry so so Chenmei you also run into some issues when running using MBD driver right I'm I'm just kind of curious why why you didn't run run into the same issues you mentioned it. you know after, uh, I have fixed he was running issues. it for quite a while no, hmm. MBD you you should disable the debug output uh, so. Uh, when you run debug uh, with the output, uh, maybe two hours, you still cannot ah. trigger that issue. You have oh. to disable the debug, uh, maybe uh, six minutes or ten minutes. And, and hang on, that's the transaction manager layer. That part's more stable than the upper part. Ah, I see. That's a cross the program. Okay. Well, it exercises more code, but yeah. Mm. Anything else? Nope. Okay, talk to you later. Uh, good one. Later. Thank you. Mm, bye bye. Thank you.